Will Brooks versus Dave Jansen for the belt, 155 pounds. Man, Will Brooks has looked great. Blew away Tiger Sarnofsky. All Will Brooks is 15 minutes. Finished Michael Chandler. That is it! There's the stoppage! I mean, the guy has looked amazing. The most dangerous part of this fight for Will Brooks is he's going to have trouble dictating the pace on Dave Jansen. He's going to have trouble getting inside Dave Jansen's head. He's going to have to physically outwork Dave Jansen this entire fight. Dave Jansen is one of those guys who has been under the radar and has just looked unbelievably solid every time he's fought. He got it! The Dave, no I'm 7-0 in Bellator. Show me another lightweight with a better record. He's one of the smartest guys at under the now. Pacing, range, you know, he's always consistent, solid, mentally and physically prepared. He's a beast no matter when you fight him. For Dave Jansen, the most dangerous part is the physical ability of Will Brooks. Key to victory for Dave Jansen. Number one, range and pacing. He's so good at, I know where I'm better than you, I'm gonna stay there. He never gets excited and gets off message. The second is, work that takedown. He's the more technical wrestler. He's wrestled at a higher level. Look for those opportunities, low single legs, outside high crotch, really fast takedowns that require technical proficiency. Use those. For Will Brooks, Make this about the physical dominance. Set a pace that Dave Jansen has trouble keeping. Number two, do what he did against Michael Chandler. Make Dave Jansen work in bad positions for the takedown and take that energy out of him. It's a huge test for both guys. Dave Jansen has always been just under the championship form. Will Brooks is an emerging star. So in a sense, Will Brooks is sending a message not just to the division, not just to the fighters in Bellator, but to the whole MMA community. And when you talk about the best at 155, you gotta talk about me.